so good day. This is Beatrice from Western North Carolina, the Henderson Asheville area, reporting on the storm on Tuesday, October the 1st. Uh, this is an update. I want to let you know that we thought we got 18 inches of rain plus um, maybe eight the day before the storm came through officially on, on uh, early Friday morning. Uh, the reported total is 24 inches. So you see this big tree was across the road here. Well, our neighbors came together and they, nothing has happened from any city or county or state to clear our roads. It's all been our local neighborhoods. We, our neighborhood, according to Duke, is 381 customers. There's one road up this particular side of the mountain and several little communities up here. So this road was covered in mud and it was draining water down into the, into the house over there. And so uh, one of the neighbors built a little dike here to shunt the water because we're still getting water coming off the top of the mountain. Uh, just drained. And because there's a house that's new houses that are being built up behind there, they've disturbed the dirt and the ground cover with their clear cut and it's brought all this dirt and silt and everywhere it went it, it broke branches and trees and um, clogged up our drainage systems. so that people could get through. Isn't that amazing? We have amazing neighbors. You know, the men really came through. Now here we've got another transformer that has uh, almost hit the ground. And you can see debris on either side of the road. People are clearing things off the road themselves. up there that had two dozen trees down in their backyard and they weren't even all the way down they, they were so tangled up with each other and because it's on a huge uh, slope it's gonna it's gonna you know it's gonna cost them a fortune and be very dangerous to pull those trees down trees down okay, so here's another situation trees that were across the road and people have come out and physically moved them off the road and take the chainsaw to them. 
and that telephone pole's a mess. See all those trees? Transformer down. And of course, all these electrical wires are dead. There's no, we don't have live wires. They've told us it'll be Friday, which is four or five days away before they expect service to be. But we're really not counting on that up here on the mountain. So he's going to defer to me. Thank you. So here we go. You see all the debris? All the trees. Lots of trees down in people's yards. This is just the front yard you're seeing. Just the fronts of these houses. They have lots of trees in the back. And a lot of it falling across porches and decks and everything else. See here all that tree down? Our neighbors left to go to his other home in Connecticut and took his family up and he um, he left his whole freezer full of uh, meat with me and it was all packaged especially for him with his name you know grass-fed beef and pork and chicken and all that and he left it with me a whole cooler so I went down the whole mountain to uh, distribute it to our friends and neighbors and it was interesting there were at least six vegetarian families on the side of the mountain <laughs> so but we found we found families to um, share it with so they could barbecue it up that day and that was good um, just wanted to share with you how things are people are hoping this Dollar General will open up uh, I don't know that there's any guarantee it will Walmart opened up for uh, four and a half hours yesterday in the late afternoon we still have a curfew after seven o'clock in the evening uh, here in Hendersonville and Asheville, I'm sure. Uh, and Sam's and Wa Sam's was open for like 20 people. They'd lit it at a time, and uh, I don't know how much they've got. It'll be interesting. Gas stations have been running out. People stood in line for an, um, with their cars in both directions, a mile and a half in both directions, waiting for gas two days ago. The filling stations are being. Um, 
loaded up with gasoline um, closest to the expressway. That's how they're doing their priority of where they deliver gas. Um, we have a gas station down here on the roundabout that um, it doesn't have electricity, so their pumps don't work. See, that's, that's part of the issue. And uh, not everybody has backup, you know? I mean, it's really silly. And of course, it's silly that we only have Wi-Fi that brings um, messages from Laura and, and the Trump group asking for money. Their, their, their Wi-Fi messages get through to us on the top of the mountain. Hardly anybody else does. And I certainly can't send anything out. It's obscene, it's obscene. I do get things from Duke Energy. I don't know what, what, how they have a special quality. And we do get emergency alerts maybe once every couple, three days. So um, we're gonna fix this. Thank you, this is yeah, Beatrice from United News Network reporting on uh, Western North Carolina post Helene, thank you.